all right chat before we end the stream as asked for in the chat bro how to afk world okay but better show me how to afk it so we're gonna actually hop in the menu thanks for the sub madison joy we're gonna head over to afk world we're gonna go in with our profile now the best way to avoid any issues like glitch kills or just getting pushed uh if you just jump here you're gonna get f***ed. if you like put a thing on jump but like you meditate so like you you jumping but like you're staying on the ground right you can do that but then you can actually glitch push people up into the thing and it can end up being an issue so we're gonna actually go into this building here and what we're actually going to do is literally just sit on the bench this bench any of the benches bro if it'll let me we're going to for f to save our pcs from like dying we're gonna actually wrap down the graphics quality to one volume to zero we're gonna click low graphics mode and we're going to pull up an auto clicker okay auto clicker boom we are just going to set it to five minutes zero milliseconds now at this point you're gonna want to start it but this isn't it this isn't it chat to make your computer have as little issues as problem we're actually going to move out of the game and we're going to talk about irl stuff so first your keyboard keyboard you're going to disconnect it okay my keyboard's nice and i can disconnect it from the keyboard so like i'm just going to pull this cord out here and now i can actually like switch my keyboard to a uh, uh 2.4 gigahertz uh bluetooth mode so now I can use my keyboard still but it's not actually plugged in when i go to bed boom click the button usb that's off we're gonna unplug our mic obviously we're gonna turn off both our monitors and that is the best way to afk for both your computer as well as making sure you don't end up crashing or getting disconnected to wi-fi now if you're starting this at 10 pm most places with internet are going to have issues when it comes to uh late night stuff so as long as it's not a school night when you set up that afk what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set it up at 10 p.m right and and if you're going to bed at 10 p.m i mean i guess you're kind of screwed but like check it at one or two in the morning trust me on this trust me on this somebody's going to be thanking me in the comments and i guarantee it internet has a lot of problems most of the time which is straight up disconnecting in the middle of the night so what you're going to do is you're going to set it up at 10 p.m if you set it up around that time and you're going to check on it at 1 or 2 a.m the later the better if you're up till 3 check on it at 3 you know uh because i've had it where i wake up to a dc and it happened at like 2 in the morning and it's like damn so not only did i get dc'd but i got almost nothing before i dc'd but yeah that is really all i gotta say about setting up and how to do the afk world obviously your best way to get it is going to be doing overall bosses trading or doing boss raids to get a true hog to trade for a world ticket or just buying it if if you're richie we got one more question from nancy Let, let's hear it let's hear it so nancy's asking if you pop a world ticket and your time runs out happens do you have to pop another after the cooldown so basically the way this works is if you have three profiles you're gonna run you're gonna pop your world ticket you're gonna lose it right you're gonna have 24 hours then you're gonna go to your second profile pop it no cooldown 24 hours go to your third profile pop it 24 hours back to the first second third back to the first second third back to the first second third you can do it every night without a single issue granted if if you're in the afk world 24 hours a day i'm kind of concerned for you like deeply but yeah that is my best tips for uh, a world ticket the end is basically just like an explanation of like how it works and yeah thanks for watching make sure to subscribe like this video Check out my other content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.
So here's the example I was talking about. So uh, in the last thing, I said hide on like one of the outskirts on the edges. So I'm like right here in this tiny little thing. You're like, how can that be the corner? So the corners actually have mini rocks in them. So if this person's following the wall, this is all they can see of me. And then they go into this one. Nothing, 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 nothing. Boom. I'm literally in this tiny, tiny little rock here. If I really want to make it perfect, I could probably go like this. Showing through a little bit on that edge. Maybe we'll go like that in a little bit. Perfect. Not visible on this. Not visible on this. Not, yeah. I'm completely invisible unless you come in on this specific rock or this tiny little mini one that you can see me in. Otherwise, you can't see me. And these are like on all four edges. You should have to find which one works best. I like this one. Everyone loves checking that corner, but not a lot of people actually check this corner. So that, that's how you do the little trick. Yeah, that's all I really got to say. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, check out my other content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.